Morning guys. Yeah, I know, it's me again. It's Thursday. Uh, yesterday I uh, filmed, uh, filmed, videoed the, uh, the, the Baldwin Shaving Company shave. Bloop. Not quite there yet. And uh, I was going to work to meet up with uh, one, of the, one of the German visitors. Uh, well, unfortunately things got postponed so I got to go back today. And I want to look clean shaven. Now, um, since, uh, I don't know why, but uh, on one of the videos, I think on one of the comments, uh, somebody had mentioned uh, this soap. The, uh, if you can see that, the Wilkinson Sword, the blue tub. And uh, I opened my, my uh, cabinet and there it was sitting right out front more or less. So I'm like, okay, you know what? It's a nice... Uh, uh, nice fresh scent. It's a decent soap. Uh, let's use it. Uh, I'm not sure if I don't. I don't think I ever put it on on uh, video. Uh, so like I said, nice fresh scent. It's got that sporty, clean kind of kind of deal. Really citrusy, artificial citrus though. It doesn't smell like a fresh peel lemon or like candy. It's that artificial kind of citrus there. So uh, cheers, coffee. Mm. So yeah, we're going to be using that, and most people recommend um, blooming it. I didn't. We'll see how it goes. So yeah, I hope you guys uh, did well yesterday. I hope you guys are doing well today. Um, using this little bore brush, uh, it's the Baliamen, but uh, the handle, some people will recognize that as a Wilkinson sword. Uh, I think uh, they had the same kind of deal. Really scrubby brush in the beginning. It took forever to break in, <laughs> but uh, we shall be using that. So, just gonna get going here. And I'm going in uh, with a fairly wet brush um, because, like I said, I didn't bloom it. If you want to see this, Look, there it goes. I think I'm. Uh, I think I should only probably need it like a, a pass and a half or something like that. One pass with pickups. Uh, it's 24 hours worth of growth, so I'm not looking that gnarly. Yeah, I've been waiting on uh, package delivery all morning, and it's just not coming. My uh, my Black Friday uh, deals that I got, and ah, uh, this is worse than Christmas. waiting on the mailman <laughs> so we're just gonna get the stuff off the sides like I said this is a, a fairly easily obtainable soap in several parts of the world except the US um, I couldn't get it here so hold on I got mine from Canada thank you Brad <laughs> Uh, I know in Germany it's available. Uh, it's just you know, basically any any grocery store has them, more or less. I know I can get them at Müller and some other pharmacy type deals, kind of like a CBS. Is it the best soap in the world? No. As you noticed yesterday on my shave with the Wild West Shaving Company. Uh, video. I didn't apply a bomb because I didn't need it. Face feel it felt great. If I remember correctly, this soap has a good possibility I might need a bomb. <laughs> it just doesn't have the uh, the skin food properties, whatever you want to call it. This is just a plain old soap. Even palm olive or something like that feels better on the skin. It's not bad or anything, but... There we go, that's not a half bad leather, is it? Mm. 
let's get going. There we go. Cheap little boar brush, I think it's like four bucks. And I think the soap is uh, too expensive either. Ah, speaking of, uh, the razor, and inexpensive. <laughs> the Lord Tech Razor. This is a, a razor that's, uh, that is basically copied. Will you focus? Come on, focus, there we go. Um, that is copied after the, I think the last model of the, the Tex from the, from the 70s. And uh, we shall be using a, the Permasharp from yesterday. Just gonna see how it does. Now this, this razor, made by Lord, very inexpensive. I think it cost, put me back eight bucks. Brand spanking new, aluminum handle. Um, this is like a pop metal head. Nothing exciting, but it is a fairly inexpensive shaver. And let's just see how it does with the Permasharp. Second shave, 24 hours growth. And like I said, I'll be doing just a quick shave. Nothing too exciting. Combination is good. Soap is moving. This is just, you know, to look presentable. If you got the corporate guys in. <laughs> Don't want to look too wild. Combination is really nice and smooth. Fairly light, fairly mild razor. Does the job. <laughs> I do have to look for a for a tech of that era. Cause I just cause I want one, but uh, no. This does a great job. Very efficient. Well, very efficient, yeah. The blade is. <laughs> Took that stubble down without any problems. So yeah, I guess it's this is kind of showing just, you know, you don't have to spend huge amounts of money if you don't want to. I know I tend to go a little overboard with uh, some stuff. I'm a bit of a hoarder, wanting to try this soap and that soap in here and there, but if it comes down to what does the job, and the job is taking hair off your face, this'll do. Yeah, that was kind of a bummer yesterday. I drove into work and then had to find out that the guys got delayed and yeah, we're postponing the meeting to today. So, yeah. That's how things go. Already doing the, uh, incorporating the pickups. This isn't a super slick soap as far as you know rest slickness goes, but with with a little bit of a little bit of water, not a problem. Now I just gotta remember that this is a mild razor, and then 
that I'm not gonna end up with a shave which is super close. So, because I tend to over, want to overdo it. Always aiming for that perfect shave. Like right now. So, with an extremely mild razor, there is a possibility that you will end up with a little bit of against the grain stubble in spots. But, just don't overdo it like I am. <laughs> nope. Most of it is good. And as you can see, when you let it dry, it gets a little, a little rubby, but tell you what, we're good. Let me rinse off and uh, we'll be back with the post. All right, guys, rinsed off, rinsed off nicely, not a problem. A little bit of left here and there, but Face feeling not too bad. It's not quite tightening it, but uh, like I said previously, the soap does not have much in the way of skin food. <clears throat> you might get some of that typical uh, soap, soapy tightness. So, balm might be recommended or a very good aftershave um, that has skin food properties uh, just in case witch hazel as usual those of you who watch me more frequently know that uh, I don't like to do a shave without it unless somebody puts me up to it you know who you are <laughs> cheers coffee okay so uh, while this is drying in Go through what we've used. The Lord, come on here, Lord Tech. I think I know uh, L5, something like that. Not really good with the numbers. Aluminum handle, very very inexpensively made uh, and not very expensive to buy. Shipped, I think, off of Amazon. I think I paid a total of eight bucks. Used the Perma Sharp in there for the second shave. Let me just unscrew that. We'll wash that off, get the soap off, there we go, Permasharp, second shave, did well, not quite as smooth as that, uh, that ruby, that ruby's intriguing me, or the uh, platinum plus for that matter, I just, I know, I like those blades, blades are very, your mileage may vary, so, uh, you know, just because I like a blade and it works well for me doesn't mean it works well for you. Just saying. Using the, come on, focus, the Wilkinson Sword blue tub. Looks like this. Really hard tub. Uh, tub. Puck. And uh, as you saw, without lumen, gave a decent lather. Using a fairly inexpensive bore brush. Let's see how much is left in there. Yeah, I might have gotten away, might have gotten away with uh, the pickup pass. My usual two and a half that I do uh, as far as the, the lather goes, but I think on the pickup pass it would have ended up a little, a little skimpy. Might have gone back to the puck. Uh, had to go back to the puck. Just saying. Um, Probably needed to have lathered a little longer, but since I knew I was going to do a quick one, it's all good. Who says you can't do a fairly quick shave with a DE? You can. Not always the most enjoyable, but using this today because it matches fairly well. A oh, nice, fresh, citrusy type scent. Hat trick classic. Just good stuff. Some on there. No real damage. 
damage done. A little bit here where I went overboard. Right there. But, smooth, even against the grain, it's not bad. So, since, since I am starting to feel a little bit of that tightness, I'm just going to slap on some, yeah, haven't used this in a while. Some maybe I'm in the sensitive. Fairly big opening, as you can see. There we go. And I'm not using much. Just to bring back some of the moisture since uh, it is getting cooler. Speaking of getting cooler, yesterday it was really nice and warm. Uh, got into the into like 68. Today, not so much. We got 45 as the highs somewhat. Well, it is what it is. It is getting winter time. It's the 30th of November, tomorrow December starts and the countdown begins. Guys, I'm out. Um, hope you liked this quick video and uh, wish you all the best. And since I'm working this weekend, like I said, uh, I don't know when the next video will be. Uh, I'm going to try and do the live on Saturday. Okay? If it'll be, it'll be in the evening now. Alright guys, have a good one. See you around. Bye.